Zach and Nicole with Bourbon and Ash. Uh, we're actually on our way to uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Topeka. Uh, they are sponsoring the sixth anniversary of the Bourbon Affair. I believe this is the sixth year. I think so. Uh, so they're going to have some uh, special allocated bourbon. Uh, it's a special cause. Obviously, uh, all the money that's raised is for uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, a great organization. We'll have links down below. Uh, please uh, visit their website and uh, donate to their cause. Uh, I'm excited. They're going to have, uh, I think, four special bourbons that we're going to be able to test and taste and review, as well as some cocktails and some more d'oeuvres, and of course, some great company. So looking forward to a great night. So Jay and Miss Tracy Amix here at the uh, sixth annual Bourbon Affair. Yeah, this looks like a lot this of fun. Is, uh, this is uh, hosted by Big Brothers and Big Sisters, sponsored by Big Brothers, Big okay. Sisters Topeka, so it's uh, obviously a fundraiser. Right. Um, they, again, this is our sixth time in seven years. I think COVID year 2021, they did not have it. Um, but again, what they're going to do is they're going to have like four or five select bourbons whether they're allocated or not, don't know. Um, they'll introduce them, they'll talk about it. Everybody has a tasting, you don't have to drink it. They'll, they'll give you like little shot glasses, you know. Mr. Maydew, I'd shake your hand, but I got my hands full. Not too bad. So, uh, real quick, uh, Eric, you want to tell us a little bit about tonight's event? <laughs> real fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got Bourbon Fair 6 to 9. That's where we are. It's a beautiful ballroom. Uh, all proceeds go to Kansas Big Brothers, Big Sisters. If you like bourbon, watch along. Zach will tell you everything you need to know tonight. We'll have links down below for your yeah. website. We're Great cause. We uh, got 150 kids on the wait list right now waiting for a mentor, so Kansas Big <laughs> and I it's got to be corn. Uh, <laughs> and 5% malted barley with 4% wheat. It's a little strong at 115.8. Oh, it's going to burn, sister. And it's only about $70 a bottle. Prep yourself. Holy, a lot of good bourbon is more than that. So, cheers. Oh, no. Uh, sip on the first one. Because then you get the Kentucky it's, uh, hug. It's a silent number one. They, he won't tell us yet. Does anybody have any thoughts on which bourbon this is? Anybody have a guess? I don't know anything it from burns. California. I can tell you that. It burns. The it cinnamon was. is very prominent. No. 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 It's from California. That's Kentucky. We got a buzzer over here. Let's not be that. No. And. And. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with California bourbon. Nobody, all right. <laughs> I didn't even know the name. <laughs> oh, the cinnamon is like so it. prominent. Okay. It's cinnamon. Which one is it? Yeah. Here it is. I was right. It's redwood. Yeah. Have you ever had that? Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. Cask All right, so. I want to say something really quick about the Big Brothers Big Sisters program and my experience with it. So I already drank mine. Um, I damn, you're fast. Yeah. I tried I've two sips, um, and it is cinnamon and more cinnamon and more cinnamon. I've never had California bourbon. Uh, so I've never it, even heard of this. It's, it's still burning. So yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I, I enjoyed it. It's hot. I did taste a lot of pecan. I don't know what that means. But. A lot of nut. A lot of nut. <laughs> I know you're probably not going to enjoy it because of the proof being so high. And I asked Eric a little bit earlier. I enjoy it because there is a little cherry on the front end, but the back end is just spice and cinnamon. Okay. So just based on what you've had, what is your rating on the B and A scale? 
Um, that's probably a two. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's not something I would ever probably drink again. Okay, I think I drank it too fast. Okay, you want some of mine? Patrick. So, and welcome to being a new big Patrick. I didn't realize that it was uh, that it was so new. I've been a big for because it was good. Almost 10 years. Yeah. No, it freaks me out a little bit. No, it's good. Uh, on that one, yeah. It's, 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 it's unique. Been a while, so, uh, all right. All right. So your, my review, your review. On, on this one, I, I thought it was really good. I've I've never heard of it. I've never tasted it before. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was good. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's like a seven on the BNA scale. Well, looking at what's left. Yeah, it's it was good. All right, for tasting number two, we've got a nose of brown sugar, chocolate covered cherries, candied apple, clove or vanilla cupcake. The taste is cherry candy, walnut, banana, dark brown sugar, praline, and allspice. And the finish is medium long finish with cherry, grape, prunes, and intense cinnamon. Uh, this is a Topeka Whiskey Society barrel pick. Uh, the distillery is located in Louisville, Kentucky, which is where all bourbon should be. <laughs> There's a 90% The mash chance. bill is uh, about 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% barley. Well, it's they always start with the lowest fruit, one. So you might want to have your water ready Just to saying. go. Yeah. And it retails for roughly $90. Do you know what it is? I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. I didn't bring mine up, so I don't even get to taste it. Old Forester. How was it? Without even tasting it. Oh, I say Elijah Craig. So Elijah my little Craig's brother not, Chris I, is bringing I say Elijah my Craig. tasting up. Um, when you've been matched for 31 years, you can bring your little brother to It burns. Like Elijah Craig's not in Louisville. Yeah. I'd say Elijah Craig. Let's have the big right reveal. There. Okay. 18% rye, 10% bar. That's what it's it is. Old Forester. Old Forester. <laughs> Old Forester. There we go. <laughs> Hope that you are enjoying that. Now, our third tasting is going to be at 7.25. So we have a few moments before that. Okay, so this involved. one is super uh, strong. Is I don't want it. I, that third I drink and your other one. After our third oh tasting, gosh. we are going to have... All right, so what's your BNA 1 through 10 on Old Forester single barrel pick? Uh, so this this is this is good. It's, it's got the hug. You know, oh, I, got the hug. this is going to be a great cocktail mixer. Um, again, I don't like the burn, but I would say just based on this mash bill, being an old Forester, and, and being a, a Topeka barrel pick, I'm going to say this is seven and a half. I, I enjoy it. I love the smell. Did you smell it? It smells like vanilla cake. I, I absolutely love the smell. So, have you smelled it yet? Did you uh, smell I drank it. Here. Well, I, yeah, no, I, I, I did it smell it. It smells like vanilla cake. No, it, it does. does. No, it, it does. was really The smell yeah, it smells was. amazing. Um, the taste is fire, and uh, but it's super flavorful. Yeah. Um, I would probably give this, I, I, I like this one better than the first one, so I'd probably give this a six. Okay. The second one she liked better than the first. Yeah. It's, it is. It's, okay. Okay. So, we both, I think, enjoy it. And, and for it that, Ooh, to be 130 nice proof, yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. It does, but it has so much flavor. Okay. I love that. Yeah. You drank 130 proof, that's, that's good. No, I Trish, like it. Trisha would be happy. Trisha would love Trisha that. Would oh my gosh, she would love that. Tasting number three, notes, rich caramel and vanilla. Taste, marshmallow, vanilla, charred oak and cherry. The finish is rye, peppercorn, oak, light vanilla, and I guess a saddle, it says leather. So, not really sure about leather when you're talking about whiskey, but apparently that's a good thing. It scored 91 points by whiskey, whiskey advocates. Is distilled by MGP in Indiana, bottled in New Jersey. Mash bill is estimated at 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley. It's 111 proof, and it retails for about $90. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right, so Penelope. Penelope. Uh, uh, All right, so just showing okay. them pictures. Penelope. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna it's try vanilla. This. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Do you smell it? I got yeah. I got a lot. So I, I've heard great things about this bourbon, and we actually talked about well, it. Well, it's rye forward. It's, 20, well, I know. With the twenty one percent rye. 111. One hundred eleven is right in our wheelhouse. I knew house. we were going down. Yeah, you did. You called that. So this is a popular upcoming bourbon. They're a newer distillery, and they send everything off to New Jersey to be to be bottled. Oh, okay. But they distill it in in, in, in Indiana. Indiana. Okay. Where do they rickhouse it at? New Jersey. New Jersey? Yep. It ages in, in bottles in New Jersey. Okay. Well, I taste rye, bread, for sure. Bread. Lots of bread. bread. Um, a little bit of pepper, but not much. It's mostly just bread. Slow yeah, burn for me. It threw, it threw me off that they were doing a Cajun soup. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's it's yeah. still spicy for like, even 111 proof. Yeah, it has that little bit of pepper to it. It does have that. the pepper. Yeah, but I mean it's 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 rye. It's not as strong as rye bread. That's why it's so as the last one we had, even yeah. though it's got yeah. the rye forward. So I like this one better than the last one because it has the flavor, like, but it doesn't have the burn. Okay, so you're being a scale. One to ten. Uh, I would probably go seven. Seven. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, I will. I will. I will say. I'm not sure. I didn't get to capture the bottle. Uh, there's there's different Nelpies, obviously. Yeah. Uh, being a rye forward. It's very rye forward. I'm probably going to say it's 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 a six. Yeah. I like it than the, better than the last one. This one was pretty good. I will disagree. I will say I, I like the other one better at 130 proof over this one at 111. Uh, it's good, but it's. The last one had a lot of Kentucky hug. I like the Kentucky hug. <laughs> and I usually don't like the Kentucky hug. Yeah. Tonight you do, though. I did. It was good. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, this there. is your top three. If you ever get a chance to go see the distillery, do you remember when you Woodford walked down Reserve, those stairs? Maker's and Mark, it just opened and up. Trace. Oh, and Jim Beam. And Jim Beam, your top four distilleries Jim must Beam, have. You can go behind the scenes. I see. I liked Old Forester where you got to I see mean, the Cooper. I mean, their history goes back like to 1800, cool. 1870, 1880. That place looks really cool. Oh, it's, it's really cool. incredible. Oh, yeah. Zach, you guys have been there, right? Yeah. Yes. Zach, Zach, and Zach and Nicole, they've been up and down the bourbon trail, what, three, 34 times? Three times. Yeah, three. That's cool. <laughs> They're amazing. They, they know a lot about bourbon. They've seen it and done it themselves. And this is, uh, this is one of those historical places next to Buffalo Trace and a few others that you definitely want to see. Well, let's keep raising some money. So so folks, on our Woodford Reserve tour, we would start me off at a thousand dollar bid, two hundred twenty-two. But we've got seven of eight. We just found them on the street. Four. We're gonna make you earn that eighth one. But we've got seven of the eight letters. Who's familiar with Blanton's and how this works? Oh, okay, we don't have that many. All right, so in case you don't oh, know, no, no, we're familiar. Is a highly sought after single barrel bourbon that is arguably the best single barrel in the world. We've got. We, so yeah, we've the tried them. On top of the horse. They're awesome. Hence the Kentucky yeah. Derby. Every single yeah, pose yeah, per eight oh, miles last being them finishing the race. Okay, so it's a, it's a collector's item, but it's also an amazing bourbon. We left the seventh bottle out on purpose. We wanted to give you a little, at least a little bit of the challenge. Finding all eight of these in one spot, Zach, is next to impossible, I might say. We already have them. It's hard to do. Yeah. It's, you can uh, buy it so at Buffalo Trace. We full bottles. We, and we already have them all. Not open. You have to have one. No, I didn't <laughs> order. Folks, unique item, seven of the eight. Let's rake some money. Who would start me off at? One thousand. Hey, number one. Hey, number five thousand. Hey, number five. Hey, number fifty-two. Hey, number two. Hey, number two. Can I buy this for you? Hey, number fifty-two. Hundred dollar day on it. Number fifty-two. Bourbon and ash. So thank you so much. Every one of you has an envelope in front of you that looks a little something like this. If you opened it, you did not follow the rules. Oh my, Rob. Rob. <laughs> Go ahead and open those for me. I'm going to give Ooh, everybody a minute Jasmine. to open them. Have a look at what's on there. Ooh, that's a pretty name. Gaius. I want to hear a bunch of ribs. Aggressive stuff. Let's do it. 
Don't worry, this party ends at 9. We're going to extend it to 9.30. It's fine. We're running long. Everybody open that. Go ahead and have a read really fast. Just have a look at what it is. Okay, so we have featured a number of our littles on our wait list. You got a picture, you got a little description as to what it is they're interested in, right? And who they are. They're children, right? They're innocent. They need some guidance and they need some help. And that's what this portion of the evening is all about. So when we go through this, Trish is going to guide you a little bit here. I just ask that you hold that card in front of you and ask yourself what it is you can do to help this organization. It has nothing to do with me or my staff. It has everything to do with you. Okay. Thank Thank you, Eric. Eric. Now, as Eric time. said, this is the most important part of tonight. I'm bidding and The high. way that it works is I have various levels of giving. I'm going to start high and I'm going to work my way down. And when I get to a level where you want to invest in the future of Big Brothers Big Sisters, I invite you to raise that bid card high in the air. Now, before I begin, Eric, do you want to tell them the exciting news about uh, this generous donor? You want to tell them? I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah, why don't you? Anybody read my email? I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> We've got $25,000 thanks to a generous donor to match tonight. And we ain't leaving until we match it. Let's, let's just knock it out right off the bat. Let's see what we can do. $25,000, dollar for dollar. All right. If we match that, 50 grand. 50 kids right off the wait list. Just like kids. that. A third of that wait list gone. Let's do it. So, folks, let's make sure we take advantage of that full, that full uh, match right there. And so I'm going to start with a big match. I'm going to start with a big ask. And so my first ask tonight is at $5,000. And do we have anyone here tonight who would like to kick us off at our $5,000 level? Yeah. yeah. Turn it my way. Turn it my way. Turn your big card my way for me. We got one. Donor 214. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That is a way to kick this off. Do we have anyone else? at our $5,000 level. Well, that's a way to start. Let's give our generous donor a round of applause right there. Now, our next level is at 2,500, which can help match two kids. Should I do it? And if you're able to invest in 2,500, would you put those Should I do it? up for us? Donor 179, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes! Who else do we have at our $2,500 level here tonight? I don't want to miss anyone. Donor 101, thank you so much, folks. Thank you. Oh, this is what we're doing. Do we have anyone else? All right, let's give them a huge round of applause. If you're able to invest in $1,000, would you put that bid card up for us? Donor 224, thank you. Donor 194, thank you. Donor 159, thank you. Donor 170, thank you. Patrick 138, thank you. Donor 142, thank you. Yes, who else do we have at our $1,000 level here tonight? All right, let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> All right, next up is our $500 level, and being a big in the program, they don't just match you and leave you, they work with you to become a better mentor. There's specific trainings for it, and folks, $500 can help empower bigs to be better for their littles. And if you're able to invest at $500, would you put those big cards up for us? Donor 145, thank you. Donor 172, thank you. Turn it my way just a little bit. Donor 242, thank you. Yes, who else do we have? Donor 244, thank you. Who else do we have at our $500 level? Donor 236, thank you so much. Who else? Donor 224, thank you, thank you. Who else do we have? at our $500 level here tonight. Donor 105, thank you. Donor 107, thank you. Who else do we have at our $500 level tonight? Turn it my way. There we go, donor 140, thank you. Who else do we have? All right, let's give them a huge round of applause. Taste is dark caramel, cocoa, dried berries, and mild peppermint. And the finish is long, slow, 
dryness, dark chocolate, and espresso. This distillery is the official bourbon provider of the Tucky Derby, which we just learned about if you were listening to Eric. It is distilled in Versailles, Kentucky. Uh, mash bill is 72, corn 18% rye, 10% mold and barley. And it has a we all of, know that's uh, winter reserve. And it retails roughly for $70. Folks, you probably guessed it already, but it is, let's see the reveal. Woodford! There it is! It is a Woodford! Folks, that is your last tasting. Uh, the uh, bourbon raffle winner is going to be announced later by Eric. Folks, he will have a few other announcements for you later tonight. All right, so you Once guys, again, my just, name is Trisha. Thanks for being here to support Big Brothers, Big Sisters. We, we appreciate this, you so uh, very much. And bourbon, we invite you to stick around, hang out, enjoy the cocktail, and Eric the official will the bourbon of the Kentucky later. Derby. Thank you. Uh, going on 25 years now. Um, I don't know what else to say, but they are they are uh, they are the top three for me. Thank you. Mr. Murphy, uh, give me your uh, your thoughts on, on your experience here tonight on the uh, seventh annual Bourbon Affair. Did you have fun? Did you? I did. Yes. So I really like the first and the fourth. The second and the third were pretty hot. Not, not really my taste. I like the pepper finish, but the overall heat of them was just too great. All right. Okay. All right, we're going to edit you out because you don't want to be in. Absolutely. Give us a little thoughts on your guys' experience uh, tonight. This was amazing and great. Yes. For the first time at the event, it's been fantastic. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out and enjoying us. We appreciate the invite. Okay. It's good. Good bourbon was good, yeah. Good event, uh, good cause. Yes, great yes, cause. Absolutely. Great cause. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You can get a meltdown. Oh. Oh my, you guys are on, on live. Oh Tiffany God, and Cliff, uh, you guys, you don't have to bend down. It's We got you. Uh, I, see, I see it. Oh, you uh, see it. It yeah, sees you. Okay. Yeah, so, um, any thoughts? You guys had a great experience. This is a great fundraiser. This is a good, this, this is an awesome fundraiser. Uh, great people. I have some hiccups. I'm so sorry. Great company. And yeah, I'm glad that we came out tonight. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us. This this was pretty good. This was a little bit different because they had the shots on the table, which they didn't have last year or the year before. That's right. So they, they was on the shots. So they, they organized it a little bit better than what they did uh, the last time. Yes, I agree. Yeah. This was a little bit more inclusive. Yeah. I, again, the way they set it up was, was great. And I... I, obviously, they raised a lot of money for a good cause. Yes. Fifty thousand dollars. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. I appreciate yes. you guys. And appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we're closing out here. Any last words? That's really bright. Oh my! <laughs> You're in the spotlight. Any last words? I'll do it through this. <laughs> so, Eric, uh, again, just real quickly, um, we. We've had a great time. Congratulations. Good. I Thank hope you. you guys had a, a successful night. Oh, yeah. Best we, year. Yeah, best year. Okay, Easily. good. So this has been a great atmosphere. Um, you've raised a lot of money for a good cause. Yep. As always, we'll have a link below. Yep. And if you have any questions, please uh, refer to anything uh, on that website. KansasBigs.org. Uh, KansasBigs.org. Appreciate it. Great cause. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, thank you. Zach and Nicole with Bourbon and Ash, we uh, were able to drink the Woodford Reserve Kentucky yep. Derby uh, Special Edition. We've already tasted this, so we're not going to hold off on doing a rating. Yeah, uh, look at our last video if you're looking for information on our Bourbon and Ash rating. Um, we've had such a great time here. Uh, obviously, we've enjoyed our company. It's a great fundraiser for Big Brothers Big Sisters of Topeka. We highly recommend that you look at our uh, links below. And as always, um, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously on the algorithms. And as always, uh, drink, drink responsibly. <laughs> 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 All right, drink responsibly. Thank you. Have a good night.
Yeah.